All right, we are here back for episode 68 of our Pokemon Rejuvenation Let's Play. How you doing? What's really good? What is bragging? In the last episode, we just spent our time uh, exploring the city for the most part. And that's really about it, you know. So if you want to see what's in the city, go watch the last episode. Uh, what else is there to do? We talked to Rhoda and Huey, I guess, and they said, let's wait outside for others. And that's what we're gonna do! We still can't go back to Gearing, so it's great. Looks like you've all made it here without any problems. Uh, I forgot to say it. Let's just get into it. Uh, yeah, I've looked around a bit and we found our way here some uh, way or other. Nice. How are you enjoying the city? Mm, it's pretty overwhelming, actually. A city girl? I'm a city girl, but this place is freaking huge. It is pretty big. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll get used to it quickly. Yeah. Uh, now, I'm sure you're all eager to find a place to stay, so let's eep! Is that really her? It's really her. It's, uh, it's really, it's really Rissa Raider? Rissa Raider? What the fuck is that? Pull up in the whip! Hey, hold up! Said I pull up in Ah, yes, yeah, a beautiful day today. Rissa, I love you! Rissa, sign my Pelipper, please! What the fuck is this? Thanks, Chives. All right, just wait here for me. Oh, and how could I forget my lovely fans? Thanks, thank you all for greeting me here today. This is, uh, this one is for all of you who showed up, mwah. Okay. Oh my gosh, Rhoda, is that you? It's so good to see you. Uh, looks like you haven't been for you haven't forgotten me after all, Rissa. I'm so hurt by that statement, Rhoda. You know I love you long time. Mm, it was just uh, it was just been so busy at Access High University. Being a full time actor doesn't help me help my free time either. It's such a bother. <laughs> Excuses. Mwah, and a moi for you too, Rhody. Rhody. Oh my! I was so distracted. I didn't even know you had company. Uh, Rissa, these are my friends Malia, Venom, Cannon, and B! You know B? Uh, how could I not know B? Team Zen Destroyer! It's the same name I've given you. You're the, uh, you're famous at Axis High. Little known secret about Rissa is she actively fights against Team Zen. She is partially the reason why Team Zen isn't seen around these parts, uh, that often. Hell yeah, I do. Team Zen has overstayed their welcome here in the Avian region. I say it's time to drive them out once and for all, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Just think about the world without Team Zan. Gets me all fired up. <laughs> what the heck is going on? Here she goes, showing off again. Sorry, I can't help it. Uh, anyway, I was doing, uh, what was I doing here in the first place? Oh, that's right. I came here to sign up for the tournament. Tournament? Oh, come on, Rhoda. You haven't even explained what's going on? I haven't had the opportunity, but if you want to explain it. What well, Rhoda failed to mention to you all is that we're having our annual Festival of Dreams. Festival of Dreams. Mm-hmm. It's the end and uh, anniversary of Grand New City's creation next week. So to commemorate that, we hold a week-long event called Festival of Dreams. It's a huge thing uh, where we have lots of food, play, uh, plays, outdoor activities, and most importantly, we open up the festival with a tournament that lasts until the final day. Tournament is uh, what really matters because the winner of that said tournament gets all 18 gym badges. What the fuck? All oh, 18 gym badges? Yeah, huh? Uh, you get some other prizes too, but that's the main kicker. It's bas uh, you basically win a free trip to the Pokemon League. Oh, but I have to get going. There's still there are only so many spots. It was nice to talk to all of you. And it was nice catching up with you too. You too, Huey. I hope things are alright with Rome. Yeah, I have faith. Um, you're strong. You'll pull through. Who's Rome? We'll discuss that later. This isn't a, the appropriate time. It's a grand prize for the tournament, really, all 18 badges. Yep, it's been that way every year. Mm -hmm. It's decided. I want to join the tournament. When you want to join the tournament? Yeah, I actually do. Aside from defeating Team Zen, I've always wanted to take on the Pokemon League Challenge. Don't forget that I was once supposed to be a gym leader. I see. Well, it's not like we're in some extreme rush to defeat Team Zen. No, why not? Join the tournament. 
If you want to join, then I'll join too. Hey, hey, don't forget me, I'll join too. Sounds like fun, but uh, I don't really have Pokemon, so. I'll let you borrow mine. What? Wow, you, you mean it? Sure thing, huh? I have no interest in battling a tournament, and Pokemon are real kind. My Pokemon are real kind. Ah, oh, thank you. I mean, I guess. Whatever. Well then, uh, let's sign up. Brisa said there's a limited amount of positions. Oh, you still here? Yeah, we've decided all to join the tournament ourselves. Oh, something wrong? I feel pretty bad, but uh, I took the last position available. I barely made it myself. There aren't any, po there aren't any positions already? Well, it's the final day to register. I'm actually not surprised all the spots have been filled. Darn. I'm so sorry, you all. Uh, there's always going to be a next year, though. You better be here this time when it comes around. <laughs> around here? Yeah, I guess. Well, we gotta go with the finals week at, uh, it's finals week at Axis High University. If, uh, don't get back in time to study, Gene will kill me. See you all. Stay smiling. Alright. Sorry about Jigglypuffs. Mm. Goodbye, everyone. Hope to see you all soon. That was... Oh, that was disappointing. Tell me about it. Don't fret. You all uh, have your chance. I want you. I want you all to meet in the residential district. It's not far from here. Just uh, head south and take a left. Uh, take your time. Like I said, we're not in any kind of rush. Thanks. All of that just to. All right. Good thing we saved it. What a disappointment. The lot of you. Takes me to uh, Dream District. No, that's a Dungeon District. You are a Defo Hero. What the heck is this? How did I not see this? Dream Complex? Oh, I didn't. I didn't realize. It's not responding. You got two elevators is out? Trash. I can only go to the panel. Welcome to my humble boat. This is where you all will stay for the remainder of your time. Being a part of the Grand Dream City government is a hard task, but it does come with a few perks. Like this expensive apartment. Expensive is right. Look at this place. I've tried to, uh, to get you all in your own apartments, but everything was booked. Not that it really matters. I have plenty of rooms available to you. Anyway, B, your room is the closest to the exit. Venom, Malia, you two could take the room at the end of the hall. No problem, thank you. Excellent. Now that uh, that's settled, we're going to go wild and explore the apartment. Down the hall, there's a door to the balcony. There's a balcony in the way. Pew, 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 pew. Well, alright then, she's excited. Downstairs, we have an entertainment room, and adjacent to it is a kitchen. When you're all done, please come speak to me. We have a lot to discuss. Alright. Okay, I heard the word kitchen, so I already have a plan. Yep, I'm hungry too. Let's see. Alright. Considering that our characters never eat, I, uh... Oh, we can change our clothes back? Yeah, no. Default is fine for me. So I'm in here. Oh, they... <laughs> it's getting spicy in there. They got the double bed. <laughs> Our apartment... Jesus Christ, she has so many rooms in it. Pikachu. Oh, look, it's you. Uh, we have one more roommate, but she's not here right now. She's really awesome. I'm sure you'll get to meet her later. I'm pretty sure that's Karen. Room? The person they're looking for is Karen. Hey! There's a pool. Jesus Christ. This place is wonderful. We're so fortunate to go to Arby. We should cook her a nice meal or something, you know, to make up for things. She has to At least it's not by the edge. Like the glass by the edge pool? See, those are spooky. Oof. I honestly don't care that much about the kitchen. How are you doing? You ready to get you ready to begin? Yes. Sigh. Alright. It's time to open up open up this can of worms. Granby City is in danger. Everybody knows it. But 
It is a society and things must move on no matter the circumstances. It's up to us to get to the bottom of what's uh, this and save Grand Duke City from disaster. Before we head down that path, there's something I wanted to bring up. I didn't even get a chance to read that. I think you brought up this topic before. Yeah, that girl on the missing poster all around town. Yeah, I heard a bunch of missing people are at the moment, but her poster is without a doubt the most common one. Rune is, Rune's my sister. She's your sister? Yeah. That's definitely not Karen. Uh, she's my sister. Rune and I never knew our parents. We only had each other. She never let uh, that fact stop her though. Rune always worked hard. Rune worked so hard that she became the a teacher at Axis High University. But towards the end of the semester, she just disappeared. She showed no sign of leaving. She's just... Rune was beloved by all of us. She didn't have any enemies, which makes her disappearance even more bizarre. I don't know how many people we've approached at this point about Rune. Uh, maybe they knew something. Perhaps Rune said something to them, but no one ever had an answer. Put up signs, commercials, podcasts. All were fruitless. Perhaps Siwi and myself, there, uh, there was the only person who knew Rune personally. Flora. Ooh. Flora? That can't be good. Hold on, I'm just tying my shoe. Why am I wearing shoes inside? Who knows? Uh, exactly. She was the only one that could have had any important details about Rune's whereabouts. But she refused to uh, do so from the beginning. I think I know where uh, we're going to get another shot at Asker. I don't think we're going to get another shot. Flora was arrested on Route 7 for being the leader of Bladestar. So, so I've heard. Uh, she was the last person I would have suspected. Maybe we could get some info during her trial. Yes, I suppose you're right. Okay, I think we understand this room situation now. Let's move on and talk about this phenomenon with people turning to stone. It started happening a few weeks ago. The first victim uh, was known as Axis High University student Tanya. Uh, when, when first discovered she turned to stone, we didn't know what to make of it. The next week, someone else was hit. Dark type gym leader Damien. He did a dark type gym leader, but that didn't stop. It didn't stop there. As soon, it became a weekly occurrence until another gym leader was hit. Talon, who was the flying type gym leader, he was the most recent victim. Well, where do we start? People are connected in a way, right? The only real connection is that some of them were gym leaders and students of Access High University. However, the dark type gym leader Damien was not a student. Whoever is doing this uh, threw us a curveball. I see. But that's uh, all we know. 18 gym badges. Yes, yeah, one for, for every type. Uh, but that's all we know. Uh, we really have at this moment. It's all we really have at this moment. So we'll end our discussion here. This is just all super weird. Hmm. What could possibly be the motive? We don't know. All we know... All we can do is gather more evidence and clues. Clue! Are they back in the kitchen? Cannon. Uh, Benham said that she was going. She was going down on her way though. Okay. I, I honestly don't care. She can do whatever she wants. She grown. She's the gym leader. She can do whatever she wants. I wonder how do you be, how you even become a gym leader? Like, do you have to beat the um? I mean, you can't always win the the uh, the, the champion because there's only one champion at a time. But if you like show promise and like you beat enough people in the in the Pokemon League, you can be uh, you can be champion, I guess. I guess I went downstairs. Of them. I'll check my room right quick. And if they're not in there, I'm going um I like how they color coded. Color coded it so they know I know which one is my room. Hey B, you are uh, you going out as well? Me? Mm, don't know if you know this or not, but we I'm more roommate here with us. She's gone all day, her name is Lavender. If you're not doing anything, you, you should come meet her. She usually hangs out around Amber Park that's east of Grand Dream City Station. Uh, I'll be there even if you decide not to show up. See you later, Rhoda. Alright, stay safe. 
east of Grand Dream City Station. As to the, uh, I think I know what that park is. Let me hit that F5 button and zoot and toot my way over there. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Did they want to battle? Because everybody wants to battle. I wouldn't be surprised if they wanted to. Guess down here somewhere. Oh, y'all knew that this part. Ah, this is it. Ah, it's funny how the city works. People are blinded by its brightness and don't see the uh, the grime that builds underneath. And those who notice the grime, they sweat beneath it. This is where I, where I found them, laying soullessly on the ground, completely encased in stone. How could who could be responsible? I wonder. No matter what, I shall be the one to find out. My phone charger fell out of the wall. Like that's what you're asking. Flareon, let's go now. This is supposed. Uh, this is was supposed to be for Lavender. Oh dear. That sounds like Huey. I hope he hasn't gotten himself into trouble again. Excuse me. <laughs> I said that chicken sandwich was lap was for. Uh, Lavender. Mm. Huey, what are you two doing? Lavender. I was bringing you lunch like I promised, but Flareon decided the meal belonged to it. Apologize, Lavender. It's okay, Fairy, and I'll forgive you. Here, have some biscuits. Don't you reprimand that bitch! Forget ate your chicken sandwich! So, what are you up to? Oh, well, I was just about to do something on my own, but... This lovely person kept me company for a while. Oh, that's B. You, uh, you don't know this yet, but we have company staying with us for a while. B is one of them. Is that so? Well, then B, I'm glad to have you. Like Huey said, um, said here, like Huey here mentioned before, my name is Lavender. I'm the second type gym leader. What the f What's with all these gym leaders, dude? Now that that's done, I think I'm going uh, on my way. I have some errands to take care of before I head back home. Flareon's getting restless, and Flareon only gets that way when you, when you can tell someone is lying. Did you put Flareon didn't consume the lie detector at some point? If there's anyone who can see through my lies, it's Flareon. Alright, I give. I was heading to Talon's pet house. Talon's pet house? Why would you want to go there? I want to see if I can find anything of note there. I fear that Talon's situation is all well, my fault. I, I understand. What? Why is this your fault? I'll explain it when we get there for a deal. Wait, does this mean you're letting me come with? What does it sound like? That's what I intended. Maybe you come too? Alright. Yeah, they'll definitely join us. What if I just say no and I was like, yo, I'm just trying to get back to Garen Dog, because I'm really just trying to get back to Garen Dog. Oh, alright. Uh, would you like to travel with us or would you like to. Yeah, come with me. I honestly. <laughs> so they. Never mind. I like we're ready to go. Mm -mm -mm. Right wing penthouse with Rizza and the Raiders and others. Uh, I've done some research and concluded there's no one who should be here during our little investigation. Using Alakazam's power, I'll uh, hide my senses. She has Alakazam. Just in case, but we should be fine. Should be fine? Yeah, as in things should work out smoothly unless it doesn't. Okay, are we ready? Spooky. Ugh, it's dark in here. I don't do well in the darkness. Like I said, no one's here at the moment. Maybe they turn off the lights to conserve energy. Doesn't matter. Let's just look for clues. All right, clues. Let's do this. Okay. There's so many gym leaders. Jesus Christ. Everybody's a gym leader. I'm a gym leader. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe I can be. I'd probably be a ghost type or still type gym leader, to be honest with you. Sharp beak. A letter uh, with a red envelope. Dear Talon, thank you for coming to our show last week. We are pleased to inform you that you won a free day with me, Nancy. Please meet me at Amber Park exactly at midnight. Remember to be alone as this is a date solely between you and I. Don't be late. That sounds sus. Midnight in the park? That's how you get effed up. Can I go in this house? 
Okay, I did. Midnight in the park. That's how you get fucked up. Hmm, right? You found a specific little room, is it? A town's room? Hmm, I thought that place would be a little too obvious to check. Uh, well, might as well see what, uh, what that's about. Go look for other clues while I investigate. Sure, I guess. Clues? I don't need a star. Use blue clues, you can do. Scoo-doo! Blue scoo-doo, then you can do. You got something in the fridge? Oh my God, I'm hungry. Oh, nothing here. Alright, I thought I could use F3 to find the clues. Uh, I couldn't find anything on the top right room. In fact, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot to really look at. Does that come off a little weird to you? I feel like this place uh, would be much messier if it was owned by a couple of school kids. Wait, you actually found something useful? Haha, <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's one point for us then, right? Uh, I wouldn't celebrate that just yet. What the f- That scared the shit out of me, dude. Hey, whoa! Don't just scare us like that. Sorry. But I had no choice. I couldn't risk walking over here. Huh? Why not? Someone's here. Hmm? Someone's here? I thought you said this should be, uh... Let me, I thought you said this should have gone well. Emphasis on should. I implied that it could go wrong, didn't I? I was able to sense them while uh, with my mind until they got exceptionally close. Mm, I don't know how they managed to sneak, sneak up on me and my Pokemon, but they did. <laughs> well, what do we what do we do? I could have Ali, Alex have teleported us, but I'd rather not do that. Uh, you two can leave if you like. I don't expect you to stay and risk anything. I'm not going anywhere. Are you nuts? I'm not going to let you stay here and get yourself into trouble you can't get out of. <laughs> really stay with me oh he likes you Ooh, of course I would uh, what do you mean oh nothing come on uh, let me just concentrate I can view them remotely if I can just concentrate hmm so this is the brat's place uh, that's what the boss told us this place is supposed to be empty right yeah everyone who usually resides here is at Axel High University Access High University Due to finals week, we should be clear uh, to look around for clues. After we're done with that, we should, we're should we going to head straight back to the base. Got it? Got it. Let's get this over with. Hmm. Looks like they're, I'm not the only one who did their research. Hmm? Other people are here to investigate. We should go. We should be good then, right? We could team up and look for clues together. No, but those people. The Blade Star girls. Blade Star? What are they doing here? To find uh, clues about talent, or I assume. Well, what do we do? Can't escape when they're in other rooms. Let me check which room they're in now. Oh my, hey, check this out. What's that? I'm not exactly sure, but it looks important. Let's take this back to the boss to see what she says about it, all right? Let's keep looking. What's the matter? It's like dead in our plans. Looks like they found something really important next door. Well. That's too bad for us. We should we should just leave. No, I'm not leaving. Uh, I'm not leaving. I want what they found. That's probably the letter, to be honest, dude. Are you sure about this, Lavender? Look, look at it this way. Blaze Star found something incredibly important. I don't know much about Blaze Star myself, but I feel better if I had whatever they found. Who knows what they could do with such information? The information game is important. Sorry, but I refuse to take such a bold risk. But I'm going. I'm going after them. Uh, but going after them is bold as it gets. <laughs> Perhaps it is. I guess I. I just contradicted myself. <laughs> he he. There is a plan. B. Alexam has helped me examine the aura of you and your Pokemon. You have come to the conclusion that we have the slightest, the highest probability of success if we team up. Let's combine our strengths and put uh, those Blaze Star Grunts out of service. You're gonna kill him? No, I'm not gonna kill him. Idiot. I'm just gonna make sure that they sleep for a while. Hopefully Alakazam Psychic won't hurt them too much. I see. Anyway, we have to act quickly. We don't have a lot of time. Alakazam. Alakazam! Oh, they're in the, the room to the right of us. Never mind. Yo, what's goody? Huh? 
there's more of you brats running around here. I thought this place was supposed to be empty. No more. We're just we're just as disappointed. We're here to take whatever you found for ourselves. What did you find anyway? Mind if I take a quick look? What? It's none of your business. How could you even know that anyway? Sorry, but questions aren't being accepted at this time. If you won't give it to give us what you found, we'll just have to take it from you by force. Well, that was her alakazam, you. There we go. I forgot her. I forgot to heal. Level 80? Yeah, I mean, we ain't bound her anytime soon. Uh, I forgot. I honestly forgot that I didn't heal. Psychiku! Jesus Christ, it's cold. Dirty vine! Why did that? Oh, that's so perfect. Dirty vine! Dirty vine! Nancy Drew Gang! Yeah. I thought Kazam's dead. He lived. How the fuck did he live? It's impossible! Beep, 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 beep. 67. Hey, Namega Horn. Hey, hey. What? Chair. It's a second movie color. What a psychic. You think there should be a stronger uh, stab psychic type move? Like, you know how ground types are. My printer is printing stuff. <laughs> It just scared me again. Uh, what I was gonna say before I got distracted. Did you think that there should be a stronger uh, psychic type stab move? Like, you know how Brown has got Earthquake? Do you think there should be like Psychic Earthquake? Would that be too OP? The psychic's good and all, but sometimes it just doesn't do enough damage. Uh, Kazam, psychic! <laughs> Holy shit. Wah! <laughs> <laughs> nice job, Huey. A few more hits like that and you'll gain some muscle in no time. Oh, but I already got muscle. I'm stacked, right? Uh, Kazam, you're magnificent. Please return. Hey, don't ignore me. Here it is. What is it? Hmm? This is just a brochure for some show being hoisted at Mongolia Theory. Theater. Are you kidding? What was so important about some stupid brochure? Wait, I think I take it all back. Take all that back. There's actually might be something here we could use. Remember the red envelope we found at uh, found at Nancy room? It mentioned a date with someone named Nancy. Only this brochure it mentions a show hosted by Nancy and a special guest. So a talent received a letter from someone who hosts a show at Magnolia Theater. Okay, well, what do we do with this information? Well, we could, huh? Hmm. Looks like this brochure comes with five free tickets. Uh, they're not charged to be able to watch the show. Hmm. So this might sound like another bad idea. Maybe we should go see this whole this whole show, Isabel. Yeah, that sounds like a terrible idea. It's not a good idea, but we're not going to get anywhere else doing nothing. If something terrible happens at the show, then we have to see for ourselves. Uh, if things go wrong, I can use my Pokemon and get us out of there in one piece. Besides, I've always wanted to go to one of these kind of events. Hmm, I'm fine. I don't like it, but I'll go as well. Let's go then. Hold on. What are you doing? Uh, I'm calling the cops. We can't just leave Blaze Star Grunt sitting here. They'll just wake up and tell the boss what happened. Wait, but won't we get arrested too? We're not exactly residents of this home. They would have arrested us if, uh, if we're caught soon. We don't have to make it known that we were here at all. Let's just, uh, we just have to lie and say that we saw Blaze Dargon's heading to the right wing penthouse. I'm sure they'll take care of the rest. There's that. That's, that's your white privilege going on. There, we should get going now. We don't want to be here when, when they show up. Yeah, let's get out of here. So, we actually learned quite a bit of information that from that little bit. Of, I'll bet, I'll be it. I'll, it's I'll be it. 
albeit a little more involved than I would have uh, preferred, but fruitful nonetheless. So we're heading to the Mongolia Theater now. That's correct. The Mongolia Theater is hosting another show soon. Was the theater again? I believe it's in a shopping, shopping district east from here. Just walk down the road and you'll get there in no time. Yeah, so let's go. Huh? Owner, you know what? Let's do. Let's see what's bracking at the at the uh, Mongolia Theater. And look, maybe we can get stickers, right? Shopping district. Uh, <laughs> SBU. I waited for order to get ready. Blah blah. blah. Oh, there's another uh, hee hee. Don't you get high, you wretch. Shot to you, drop dead. Okay. Didn't actually realize she wanted to battle. I still didn't heal. Oh no, they healed me. Yay! That spinning fist is kind of sick, though. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Hmm, hidden confusion. Hey, do 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 do. Hey. Ah. Lee. You still suck. <laughs> or leech. Got a way to stop this uh this ghost type? Charm. Mm, I can see how you how to use that to stop this ghost type. This thing is like really. This thing is really strong. Man, wait, I didn't even know low funny could be other, other than male. What the heck? Sus. I feel like this haircut is about to hit, uh. About to hit first level 70 already. Basically, halfway there, well, three fifths of the way there. Hey, hey! Arigato, Domo. Where the heck is this? Oh, I actually found it. I haven't seen the game in brick. Uh, B, you made it. Made it just in time. Looks like the show's about to start. Yeah, I know. I think I've been here before. I usually do talk shows and things like that here. I can't imagine that there's something you'd be interested in, Huey. You'd enjoy it more if there was some over the top action movie, right? Man, I. It's like you know me like a book. You're amazing, Lavender. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, we're going. <laughs> we should go. We should give uh, Save B the un uncomfortableness of being the third wheel. Oops, yeah, sorry, B. Love you. You guys dating? Dating? No, no, we're not. We're, we're, we're just good friends. We should go. Okay. Oh, please enjoy the show. Oh, I can. Sure, let's go. Uh, you said that they did stuff like talk shows here, right? Usually, but I don't think this is going to be the usual kind of talk show. You see that impression. Nothing but a hunch. No. Not reliable, though. Let's pay attention and make sure we don't miss a single thing. Attention, guests. The show is about to begin. Please keep your Pokemon confined in their Pokeballs. Keep all electronic devices off or put them on silent. Thank you. Remember to be attentive. There's a casting couch. Oh, uh, I don't know how I feel about this. Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for coming. Ah. Uh. I'm not gonna lie. That that might be my mom. That uh, might be my mom. Well, yes. Welcome everyone here. Here, thank you for coming. Yes. What a beautiful crowd we have here today. Just lovely. We will uh, go about our normal business today, but first I want to introduce you to our very special guest. Please come out and say hello to our audience, B. What the fuck? Hey, wait, that's, uh, uh, hello everyone, how's it going? 
Now, now, there's no need to be shy. Please forgive, forgive them, everyone. This is their first time being on stage. Yeah, I better get... I'll get better at this, I hope. <laughs> that aside, we'd like to announce that the special... The special event with uh, last week's winner went flawlessly. Before we start today's show, we'd like to announce the winner for this week. Now, let's get a good look at our audience today and see which Loki soul wins the raffle. Now, let's look... Oh, no. Now, now, be less annoying and more... I mean, Mom, look at the audience in the front row, E. Oi, 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 But, but, but they're not supposed to be here. What do we do? I'm very sorry, everyone, but the show's gonna be canceled due to unforeseen circumstances. What? I skipped work for this. You can't do this. We spent so much money on those tickets. Yes, yes, very sorry, but uh, we must end the show early tonight. Uh, please remember that tickets are not refundable. Thank you. And have a nice day. Uh-huh. Phew, damn, that was so good. That was way too close. But, uh, that's where the fun comes in, right? No, Cosmia. What the fuck is Cosmia? I don't want to do this anymore. Uh, what are we doing? Sigh. How many times do I have to tell you that you're not calling me Cosmia while I'm in disguise? But fine. If you're going, if you're so inclined to, at least we can show our true colors. Why don't you show yours? Oh, that's right. You can't. You're stuck like that. So shut your mouth. God, you're so annoying, Comet. Such an annoying brother you are. Didn't you hear me? I hear you loud and clear. Brainless, completely brainless. Whatever. Our time is here. You can't keep pretending uh, to be a dead. What? And a mute, oh, uh, mute path anymore. We'll just have to uh, get our asses caught. Not cool. What am I going to do? Just change. You can't remind. Uh, you just reminded me that I couldn't. Uh, you know, it's not easy, Cosmia. You bit. You no. It's not that easy, Cosmia. I don't care if it's easy or not. Choose another look or I'll kick your ass. Simple. After you two do that, um, after you do that, we can proceed to step two with our plan, remember? Endure my annoying attitude for just a little longer and we're out of the danger zone, kid. Heck, if you're tempted to, you could even leave me forever, but all, but we all know how dependent you are. All right, let's leave. No need to stick, um, stick, uh, no need to stick around here anyway. Uh, so anyone want to talk about what just happened? Uh, there was another B on stage, but why? B, do you know what's anything about this? Hmm, I didn't think so. Just don't look at me like that. I'm, I'm just, just asking. Uh, this didn't go so well. We didn't have, we need to get close to this whole show. Then saw B and ditched the entire thing. Maybe the fact that they ditched is important. Yeah, it's very suspicious. I would say they're trying to impersonate me. Uh, and my dead mom. We should we should go find the others and tell them about this. We should go tell the others about this. Rhoda told me that she was thinking about taking a group to M Mika's cafe. That's most likely where they're they are at rest. Perfect. Let's make our way there now. Stop right there. What have you three done? What are you talking about? The show ended abruptly the moment that Nancy saw you three. By her reaction, it's obvious that you are clearly interrupting her in some way. And by that, by the looks of it, the culprit is clear. You there, shabby looking one behind Huey. Mm, you know my name. Be quiet. You will be you will not be spoken you will not speak unless spoken to. You clearly look like Nancy's child B, and yet you were in the audience, not on the stage. Why are, uh why are you you two uh, what the, I even know what the what do you think you talk? Who are you to talk to us in such a manner of way? We're not obligated to answer any of your questions. My name is Tomas. Thomas Blake. Oh, Sasaki's dad. You'll remember that. Thomas Blakery? Aren't you the next heir to the Blakery fa uh, family? No, I'm not. The title goes to my stepsister, Saki Blakery. Aren't you older than Saki? Why aren't you the heir of the Blakery company? That's besides the point. For, uh, for once, this conversation isn't about how great I am. Uh, you would do well to learn your place, wench. 
Mm-hmm. Hey, who the hell do you think you're talking to? I told you who I was already. I am. I told you that you would remember my name. Well, I don't care. Don't you dare talk to Lavender that way. What are you gonna do? You're just some poor boy who couldn't afford to stand on the so- on the same sidewalk as me. Why don't you just do something useful for once in your life? Let's start by throwing yourself over a bridge. Who knows? Maybe you'll. Uh, maybe after you're gone, Rue may come out of hiding. Then she'd kill herself, knowing that she'd failed to do anything significant with her work. Mm. How dare you defile my face! How dare you disrespect Rue! I'll. I'm. Uh, be glad that I'm feeling merciful. My Alakazam would not have acted as such. Don't threaten me, creature. You'll pay for this, Lavender. You got a puffy ass face too. You all right? Am I all right? Are you all right? You just stop, um, Thomas Glavy, one of the most powerful people in Grand Dreams. You think I care? I did, didn't I? Oh well, I suppose I'll pay for that one later. No, you won't. Next time, I'll protect you. Don't be silly, Huey. I don't need anyone's protection. Besides, it's 2019. Holes don't need protection. I would have never done something so rash uh, without you. You gave me strength. He <laughs> he. Let's head over to Mika's cafe. Uh, that's where you said Rhoda and the other guests might be right at this moment, right? Yeah. There's no need to run, Lavender. You'll trip and hurt yourself. All right. I guess that's definitely where we're gonna end. I think there. Uh. Alrighty then. We enjoy the show. Somehow we don't have a full house today. That's a first. Yeah, niggas are dead. People are dying. Uh, that's... Why is this kid here? Shop, shop, shop. Bye, bye, bye. All right, cool. That's where we're going to end it. Uh, I'm going to put something else. Next episode. <sighs> Sorry about that. We'll figure out what we need to do with Rhoda and the game. So, I hope you enjoyed uh, episode uh, 68. Next time you see this, we'll be on 69. Nice. Uh, uh, that's what people say. Uh, uh, but that being said, we'll catch you guys later. Peace out.